Alright guys, we're going to the second half of Dark Visions number 14 on the Japanese server. This is the final physical, the final mage, and then the final final boss. Um, we're starting with physical, which is Dark Odin, and we're going to be doing an ice team. He's weak to either ice or darkness. Um, we're going with ice, we can imbue it with uh, Cleum Axtar, they're going to imbue themselves and use their finisher, I'm sorry, their LB. Um, they've got 300 human killer, 300 LB damage, 5k attack, basically. Uh, Last Fall Reagan is going to be capping with his LB. We've got 300 killer, 300 LB, almost 4,000 attack, and then a card. Uh, Tifa is going to be capping. We've got 300 killer, 210 LB, 3300 attack. She's wearing an ice weapon because she can't imbue herself with ice. Uh, we've got Charlotte and Faisalus, they've got only 80 killer, and they're mostly just here for chain support. They're wearing an ice weapon, uh, 4200 attack. Summer Daisy and Fina, they're going to be covering the, um, I forgot what it is. They're covering the fire magic. Uh, we're using the shift form though, that's why, that's why the, yeah, here we go. The shift form is covering the fire magic. Uh, passive provoke, evasion, got death immunity, the usual. And then Beach, uh, Fina and Lid are going to be just breaking and support chaining. And that's it. Uh, the boss is AoE fire magic and AoE uh, light element physical. So we're gonna we're gonna be resisting the light element with our team and resist buff, and then Summer Fina and Daisy will be handling the fire. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and shift them, and we need to fill our LB. Hopefully by turn two, that actually might not happen. If it does, great. If not, you know whatever, we'll deal with it. Alright, we need a uh, light resist, which apparently she can't dual cast. I didn't realize that. Strange. Okay, um, let's see. We're going to. I guess we're going to go for a turn three clear. Seems to make the most sense. So we're going to want to imbue ourselves, which is this. We're going to want to do power ups and attack buff. Alright, let's see here. Last ball, Reagan is going to want to imbue himself, do a limit buff. I forgot what his base skill is. What is that skill? Oh, dragon. Dragon damage. We don't care about dragon damage. Um, we're actually going to not use that power up. And in peril. There is no way we get LB ready to go next turn. Yeah, so we're going to have Tifa not shift yet. And we'll just Meteor Strike three times. I'm just realizing this team does not have very very many ways to refill LB. Oof. Cleo, Max Star. Hmm. I guess I can chain three times and hope that gets some drops for him. Helped a little bit. All right. Let's see. Summer Fina and Lid, we're going to. That didn't. That's not it. Uh, this and break the boss. Uh, let's see. We need to cover. Let's chain a tiny bit. Try to get some crystal drops. Stupid Axtar Cleum. Why are you not getting any drops? Irritating. That should be good, and they're gonna and they're gonna refill next turn with uh
with their autofill, so that should be fine. Okay, we should be good, so let's go ahead and get Tifa ready to go. Okay. Finally. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and shift. And let's see, we're going to tag, tag, tag. That is not tag. Tag, tag, tag. Group six. Let's see. Group six. Tifa is going to cap. Going to shift last ball Reagan. He's going to cap. And then we're going to tag chain. Okay, so we're going to do this, do this, and send these, and see what kind of damage we dealt. Yeah, that, that, took, that, that took took a moment to get there. Oof, barely, but we got there. Cap damage, took, took a moment of setup. Uh, I didn't realize it takes so long to get Cleom's uh, LB filled. I kind of did, didn't, didn't work that out entirely, but oh, wow, we didn't... We didn't cap damage. Perfect score. What's the new cap then? Strange. Okay, let's go to the next one. See you in a bit. Alright guys, um, that final score on Odin kind of threw me a little bit. I guess they, they raised the damage cap and they raised the goalpost. Um, a little disappointing. I thought I was going to get a perfect score there. But anyway, we're moving along to Diablos, the magical fight. Uh, this is a magical fire and earth fight. My fire and earth mages are just outdated or non-existent. So I'm doing an ice team again because Faisalus and Saul are ice damage. Um, so Saul is going to be capping with his LB. We've got... Uh, my, my Saul is now EX2. I went ahead and leveled him up to EX2 because why not? Um, so he's got 200 Demon Killer, 200 LB damage, and we're going to be getting an LB buff from Realm. Um, and then he's using the Anniversary card. Let me just show this card graphic. This, this card graphic is, in my opinion, is really cool. we got Cleom, Charlotte, Rain, Faisalus, Axtar, Laswell, Fina, and they're like, thanks for the Anniversary. That's the, the JP Anniversary card you get for free. I thought that was really cool, and people on Global Global probably didn't see it yet. Anyway, uh, Faisalus is going to be a LB, not LB, um, a Chainer. 300 Demon, 4800 Magic. There we go. She's using the good card for Magic. Um, Kuja, Kuja is proper element, and he's got 200 Demon Killer. So he's, he's going to be Chaining Fire. It's just that he's a little bit old at this point on JP. Um, Onion is going to be our Passive Provoke Evasion Tank. Uh, that's all he's doing. He's also going to Chain, Break, and Buff Wind Resist. Realm is going to be buffing Ice Resist because she's on Carbuncle. Filling LB Gauge and doing Rod and Peril, and she'll be chaining on turn three. And then uh, Fina Fina, we're going to be doing the shift form. They've got 30 Demon Killer because I'm just out, out, out of Demon Killers. Uh, 4,000 Magic there, kind of generically not that good of a mage. I mean, I guess they're fine, but they're technically a free mage that they kind of gave away during the anniversary. So as you can expect, they didn't make them very powerful. But they do chain Earth, so technically. Okay, so Saul will just start off with doing a magic buff. Faisalus will do some cooldowns. We'll buff Saul a little bit. Uh, Kuja will do some fire unlocks. Fina Fina will do some cooldowns. Let's see, Realm will buff Ice Resist. She's on Carbuncle for that. Onion will go ahead and shift, and he'll buff uh, Wind Resist. Yeah, the boss does Ice and Wind, and you'll notice the whole team has a minimum of 30 Ice and 20 Wind, because we're using an 80 Wind buff and a 70 Ice buff. And the boss does Death at some point. I don't know when, but Onion's immune with Safety Bit, so who cares. I think he does death. Actually, I'm not even sure if he does death. I, I, I could be completely wrong on that. No, that, that, that was Odin that does death. This boss does not, I don't think. 
Um, okay, so we're good to go now with the realm powered us up. So we'll shift saw. We'll do uh, this. Whoop, whoop. Not that. Let's see. Saul will Magnus do another cooldown and you know whatever. Um, Faisalus will go ahead and shift. Get some more cooldowns with her. Get our everything ready to go next turn. Magnus, Magnus, and then whatever. Uh, Kuja is good to go. We can just guard. Let's see, Fina, Fina wants to just do more cooldowns. I don't, I don't know how to use this unit, so I'm just using like literally all her cooldowns. And we'll break with Onion. His LB is an 85% uh, break. It also debuffs accuracy, but it doesn't, doesn't really matter here. There's the elemental attacks. Okay. So we're going to shift Onion back to base form so we can triple Absolute Mirror of Equity for chaining. Realm's going to triple Absolute Mirror of Equity as well. Um, Fina Fina, we're going to shift them. Yeah, they're an Earth Mage, and they chain Absolute Mirror of Equity, which is, like, not a mage family. It's a little a little weird. And then Kuja, the regular, regular form mages, are going to be over here doing their thing. And then... We're going to be doing our off element, and then, then Saul is going to uh, cap. So we're going to go ahead and do this with the chain build, and then send some more. Okay, so, you know, we definitely did not damage cap here. 1.9, that's not nearly as bad as I was expecting it to be, considering we were off element for the final boss. I expected way worse, wow. Yeah, that was better than expected. Okay. Okay, that actually makes me kind of want to try harder because I'm actually doing good. Kind of good, I don't know. I don't have any fire or earth mages though, any, any relevant ones. Anyway, we're gonna move along to the giant cactuar, fifth anniversary dark cactuar. So let me go ahead and adjust the team and see you in a moment. Alright guys, this is going to be the final, final boss where we fight the Dark Cactuar. Uh, we're going to be doing an ice team again. My best units are ice, and this will be the team. We're going to be doing Cleom Axtar for chaining their LB. They're going to be uh, 100 plant killer, 250 LB damage, 5000 attack, and there's the gear. Um, Last while Reagan are going to be... Oh, not this form. This form has 300 plant killer... 300 LB damage, 4100 attack, and they're going to be the primary DPS along with Tifa, who is going to be doing um, 210 plant killer. And actually, in the base form, let me stick Lion's Emblem, because we're going to need that for turn one. All right, uh, shift form has an ice weapon, no plant killer at all, and 210 LB damage, 3500 attack. Poppy is the passive provoke evasion tank, she'll be buffing plant killer and filling LB gauge. Fies list uh, is going to be going to her shift form and doing some ice damage. She's got 180 magic plant killer, 5,000 magic, and then Saul is going to be doing his shift. He'll be doing he'll be doing the spirit breaks, and he's got no plant killer at all. We're just going to get some from Poppy. All right, let's give this a try. We're going for a turn three clear, and hopefully, hopefully our damage is good. We're going to find out. All right, um... All right, so turn one, we're not we're not shifting at all. We're not getting a raise. We're gonna just do this. Let's see, Poppy is going to buff Plant Killer. Um, Faisalus, we're not shifting on this turn, so we will just do this. Now let's buff Saul's magic damage. Actually, doesn't this buff I need to check something real quick. Since I, since I, com I come to all fights prepared. What a joke. Does that buff physical ice damage too? It does it does buff physical ice damage. Ooh. We're gonna we're gonna give that to Last Ball Reagan. Um Saul is going to just buff his magic. Last Ball Reagan will imperil and do his stuff. Cleom will imbue and do her stuff. 
Okay. Uh, let's see here. We're all ready to go on LB gauge for the most part. Um, so Poppy will just stat buff us and fill a little bit of LB gauge anyway. Um, let's go ahead and shift and get ready for going next turn. Let's see. We will do some power ups. Actually, I don't want to do that. I want to do just these power ups. Uh, Saul will go ahead and shift. We'll do a spirit break with Saul. Tifa will shift. We'll do Mag. Oh, come on. We'll do Magnus. And then a defense break. Um, Laswell. Doesn't really need anything. We'll just do this. Which is mostly irrelevant, honestly. Yeah, whatever. Put his Magnus again. Okay, we'll go for the kill next turn. Alright, let's do it. So we're gonna triple... Uh, let's see... Chaos Wave Awakened. We're gonna triple Chaos Wave Awakened. Saul will, or quadruple Chaos Wave Awaken with Saul. Um, Tifa will cap. Last while Reagan will shift and cap. We'll do this. Alright, so we're going to do this. Send this. And then cap with those two. Someone did 35 million. That's probably Tifa. And then last while Reagan did hopefully the big damage. We'll see what kind of damage we did. <laughs> that was not good. That was not good at all. But whatever. I don't care. That'll be my score for this Dark Visions. Ouch. That damage. I'm mean, at rank 14. That's good enough for me. Okay, so we're, we're going to end it there. Um, rank 14 currently. I'll, pro I'll probably drop down to like rank 1000 something by the time it's over. But that's good enough. Uh, good luck to the rest of you for Japanese Dark Visions number four.